this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing press the bell icon and never miss an update so guys uh, in today's video i'm going to do something very cruel that might uh, make a lot of our viewers feel really uneasy so the plan is to apply a paint stripper on top of this tank and those two side covers uh, in order to get the uh, base metal exposed so um, we will strip the paint completely and also any body filler which is there along the paint and then what we will do is on a later date not today uh, we'll prime this freshly and then we will paint it freshly and on top of it we'll stick fresh stickers then we will clear coat it so as you can see there are only limited number of parts here we do not have the front visor and we do not have the uh, rear uh, tailpiece so the tailpiece is a fiberglass made so it already has um, no paint on it so what i'm going to do is when i'm going to prime everything i'll prime that about the mask i have not really thought whether to uh, retain the original paint or to uh, paint it uh, first of all the mask is not with me it is with uh, my ex boss who actually owns this bike um, so once uh, i get the mask most probably somewhere around this week when i go to the city i'll get it uh, then we will take a call on that that is not going to take much time so that's not going to be a problem so yeah the uh, product that we are going to use today is called paintex uh, this is around 500 ml the price mrp on this is around 221 i think i paid roughly around 150 i don't remember it's been a very long time then uh, it is made in india uh, in rajapalayam tamil nadu uh, so the uh, thing with this is one it is a very nasty chemical so if you get exposed to this if it touches your bare skin that is going to cause a lot of irritation on top of that if you get it in your eyes then uh, you know i don't have to tell you that this is the easiest way to get blind other than that uh, this also produces a lot of bad fumes so it is always better to wear your mask while you are using something like this so i have a metal mixing cup this is an old uh, body filler cup that i had so i usually use it for these kind of dirty work then i have a 38 mm brush which would allow me to apply this uniformly on top of everything so um, ideally speaking uh, you know these stickers in an original panel are not buried this deep in the clear um, so peeling them off is little easy but uh, for something which has gone through multiple um, you know uh, painting cycles this is a pretty thick sticker um, another thing is it is actually advisable to apply it on the uh, bare i mean re apply the paint on top of already existing paint because it will adhere well but the challenge with that is uh, we have buried the sticker under a very uh, you know big layer of clear so because of that uh, this sticker is not going to peel out that easily i have actually ordered a heat gun which will come by this sunday so most properly most probably we will use that in our future i mean future pro projects but uh, some places it is lifting so i will give it a try to remove the sticker if i am able to remove it completely then i'm not going to use paint stripper on this um, however we are going to use paint stripper on that reason being we do not have any spot on this where you know you can just simply peel the sticker but even though i'll give it a try um, but the agenda with this uh, tank is to actually strip it to bare metal and then start working with a fresh canvas rather than you know just applying paint because you can see it's cracking here so these kind of places we need to sand it properly to make sure that we have a surface where the paint and primer will adhere to so yeah that is the plan so i'll put you guys on a tripod and then we will try uh, you know the next steps
I was able to remove the sticker on these two but uh, it is really sketchy when your paint starts peeling off just like your sticker so my plan is to uh, apply the paint stripper on this and then probably you know get rid of the entire old paint everything and then start with a fresh uh, new slate so if you can see uh, this is a pretty bad fix up but yeah let's go ahead and apply paint stripper on that we are not going to use paint stripper on these two because these came out really nice uh, we are just going to use a 600 grit paper to level everything up and then we are going to spray paint on this so these covers are okay but uh, the same can't be said about the tank so we are going to use the paint stripper now all right so let me put you on a tripod and do as you can see there are multiple layers actually there is a black then there is a black here then on below that there is a gray then there is a gray again here then you have this red primer and under that is the metal body um, so places like this has a lot of putty on it so we'll have to scrape all that and actually see what is the condition of the metal below it because if there is a problem in the metal it might start leaking in future which we don't want because our builds have to be 100% perfect so as you can see it looks like a fissure scale like you know the entire thing so the next thing that I have to do is I have to actually scrape all of this loose paint out and then apply another layer of paint remover then probably most finally it will uh, scrape off like this and we will be able to see the metal uh, once we are able to see the metal then we will use a 600 grit paper all over it and then prime it again uh, and then we will apply the uh, at least two coats of base and then on top of that we'll apply the sticker and then a coat of clear so that is the plan with this thing uh, but there is another challenge which i am hoping that i don't have to encounter uh, around this area looks like the tank has been welded so if i see a possibility of a leak under here then i'll have to give it for welding again um, so that it doesn't get ruined in the future so that is the plan if you see all this is bondo or body filler this entire area so we'll have to check what is the situation like here and then once that is taken care of and we are reasonably happy that this tank won't leak in future then we will start building it uh, the way it should be built properly so yeah um, there is a lot of work to scrape this off so i'll catch you guys once it is completely done okay update on the shogun so we actually uh, got almost every part of the bike primed so this is the chassis which is primed um, so we also got the tank primed the tank has some body work to be done like you see there is a small you know hole here not a hole like a dent and then there is some you know scratches over here and all so the reason why i applied primer on this before doing anything was to make sure that um, it doesn't rust otherwise what is going to happen is if we strip this paint and keep it 
in bare metal it will start rusting so also when you strip the paint that is when you see the beautiful contours of the tank there is absolutely zero dent on it there is one small dent here and then there is a small dent here so those things we will fill using uh, body filler and then we will sand it down um, then again it will get another layer of uh, primer along with the other body parts um, so that is the plan about this um, another thing uh, um, is very important is uh, when you're using a paint stripper uh, there are a couple of situations when you use a paint stripper you don't use it always so in this particular clay case there were almost like five to seven layers of paint on this so if we leave that paint like that this is what is going to happen so you can see all this is wobbling and lifting so there are a couple of layers of paint under this so that can happen so that is the reason why uh, when we do a job we need to do it perfectly so i used a chemical stripper after you use the stripper make sure you wash the surface very well with soap and water otherwise what is going to happen is the new um, you know primer or paint that you apply on top of it is not going to stick so that is the main reason why uh, you avoid using paint strippers because places like these and you know in these crevices the paint stripper um, you know these kind of spaces the paint stripper uh, might get caught and if it is not washed correctly it will start peeling later on so that is a very important thing that you have to uh, pay attention to you know another beautiful thing is look at the contours of the tank you know it is awesome that somebody designed this kind of a tank when you know you see this is what was the norm okay rx100 rx135 tanks are plain and simple compared to what a suzuki made you know so they actually paid a lot of emphasis to make sure that it looks beautiful so that is the most beautiful thing you know look at the you know place where the knee is stuck in that is very well contoured and this was a very nice design to be honest you know to see a black shogun uh, in factory fresh condition turns more heads than seeing a rxz or let's say rx135 um, fully done up so that is the difference um, in the quality of design this is again you know very much debatable i might um, create a whole you know controversy by saying that the suzuki bikes look better than rx that is not what i am trying to say i am trying to say that at a personal level i used to like them a lot okay so there are a couple of more things that you might see in the camera which we are not yet talking about let's talk about the zen quickly so the final mod on the zen is done we got the skirting fixed so you know i am thinking um, that i will paint it black so that there is that black yellow black yellow you know gradation um, so that was the reason what i in initially thought will do but then again if you think the body color will look nice let's do that another thing is we need to paint this mirror uh, not this one actually i have a new one so this is not fixing properly so that mirror we have to paint black as well another thing i was thinking is probably paint the bonnet also black uh, so that was the plan on the zen uh, we don't have much to do on the cruise the cruise is cruising as it's supposed to so another guy in the frame is the rd350 so rd350 there are a couple of things that needs to be done first is we need to um, change these four indicators i have um, new ones plated then this grab rail i have another one so that needs plating and then we will put it on this both the silencers and the bend pipe will go for plating um, the gear lever which looks very oddly shaped this is done for a particular reason if you see there is proper you know gaps everywhere um, and also the shift on this is precise so that gear lever needs painting i mean plating then i actually got some um, screws i mean bolts for the footrest uh, along with the bushes but one of the bolt snapped that is 
primarily maybe because of a manufacturing defect so the vendor who sold me that has assured me that he will send me another one uh, another thing is there are some rubber bushes that comes in the handle so you can see it is kind of short so we need to change that then we need to obviously paint the front fork silver we need to get the front mudguard plated other than that uh, also yeah we need a new set of filters because we cannot ride it like this um, this mirrors i have um, another set so that is getting plated this we will remove and keep um, other than that yes we need to change the speedometer it though it is good that it is not working as of now so that you know we don't know how fast we are going we know definitely it's fast because you must have seen those dotted lines on the road kind of disappear and merge into one solid line we need to get the uh, headlight ring also plated so that's about it when it comes to plating um, another problem is this guy loves eating number plates you know so this is the second number plate that he ate so the number plate is missing he also ate one of the reflectors so that would clearly mean that uh, we cannot put those US spec reflectors even though that would look really nice so thanks to this guy because of him we cannot do that he is the only one who loves eating number plates so he has also eaten the number plate for the cruise twice and if you see the zen also he has eaten the number plate so that's why i have directly bolted the number plate so yeah uh, other than that he just loves number plates you know see this so this was also in a number plate so he removed it and put it like this front number plates for some reason he doesn't like so all the bikes have their front number plates intact but the rear number plates is something that he loves i mean the front number plate so no i am confused the rear number plate yeah that's correct so that was the video uh, so there is some work cut out for us like uh, the rx100 engine needs to be rebuilt so i am actually getting the new cylinder uh, reboard and i'm going to put that i'm going to remove the cylinder this is sleeved uh, i was feeling little lazy to actually go ahead and do the running in but i will do that um, both the side covers and the front fork on the rx100 will get plated i mean painted uh, we'll get the gear lever on this plated uh, because um, this is an old japanese model and unfortunately uh, the new gear levers that come don't fit into that so i thought that i will do what it takes to make it look good uh, the stand we might have to change i don't like it plus it droops a lot uh, both the rims need to be changed so we will get new rims that is another video so i have the hubs already painted this one uh, this is the orange rd so we need to do a engine rebuild on this one as well uh, so yeah there is some work cut out for us in the coming weeks uh, the new project is actually a little hectic so i'm not getting the kind of time i used to get but yeah we need to do all this so there is some awesome content coming in so do let me know in the description how do you want the zen skirting to be do you want it black or you know should i paint it in body color so that's something that i've been bouncing off and on so this is something that needs to be done so yeah we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye